May 16th. This would be two videos today. Let's see if Mama's over here. She in the, no, she's not in there. All right, let's get a shot of the babies in here. What are you guys doing in there? You guys are always like sleeping, hanging around in there. They, they keep their mouth open. Maybe they're, I don't think they're hot. They got their little roof on there. It blew off. I had to stick it back on there. Because uh, if they were in the direct sunlight, it might, uh, I think they would get sunburned. I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, a little shout out today. I made a note so I could remember some names. Uh, Su Lao, I think it's is how you pronounce it, S-I-U-L-A-U, -U. I'm not sure, um, who is like uh, the other uh, grower on, bamboo grower on YouTube here that has uh, actual Sinicus plants, which are doing the same thing that mine are doing and all my other plants uh, right now, even the Bambusa vulgaris here, you notice there, I can't see through it anymore, it is a dense top now that it throws a solid shadow um and that's because all the branches are growing there's branches on branches growing just like all my synicus here are really branching out oh wait let me finish my shout outs duck guide i haven't heard from you in a while shoot me a text buddy um and quasi a ahmed who's in bangladesh where they have 400 varieties of uh bamboo which is like completely you know, the other spectrum from what we have here in Florida. I have I have more varieties right here than I've ever seen in Florida. Uh, in fact, uh, Vulgaris and maybe Hel Hamiltonia are the only thing I've really ever seen around. And um, uh, Quasi uh, Ahmed didn't answer me as to what the largest variety is in Bangladesh is, so I'm not quite sure about that yet, but I'm always interested in the, you know, the biggest and the smallest. I'd like to also find the bamboo that only grows like six or eight inches tall, and you can mow it. And I, th I think I saw, um, or I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm mistaken, but I thought I saw that described somewhere, and it's just a real small bamboo, and I was like, man, if I had that, I would just plant my whole yard with it and let it grow up about a foot tall. Um, and then Steve S., Steve S. asked what he thought might be a dumb question, but um, it's not really. Uh, he was asking about the propagating the bamboo. Um, and the question was, do you need branches to uh, make a clone? Um, so I would say, yeah, you need, this, this is the main stalk. This is a, this is a, clone right here. I started this uh, several months ago and you can see the main stalk here and these branches were on it when I cloned it. Uh, not all of them of course, uh, probably probably just a three of them or so, a couple little ones. You don't want a whole lot of branch. You do need one branch. You need a little bit of leaf um, and and it depends a lot on the variety. That's the final answer to any question about bamboo. Well, it all depends on the variety. This is Bambusa vulgaris, and it will make aerial roots. So, like this big stalk over here has little aerial roots on it. These aren't growing out, but if you dry, dig down to the very first node down here, there's going to be roots growing all out of that. And it is. They're real thick roots, too. So... That has a lot of aerial roots. Now the Sinicus does not have aerial roots, not that I've seen yet, and they're just very clean. And you got to dig way down to find any roots on these guys. See that first node there? That's under the surface, and there's no roots coming off of that. And if I go down to the next one, like eight inches down, I can feel that one, and there's no roots off of this. That either. So this stalk right here, which is the last one, about five foot tall now, you got to go down like at least a foot down, three nodes into the ground before you're going to find roots on that. And I've never seen an arrow root come off of these. So maybe Sue could tell me, Mr. Lau could tell me 
what uh, is the probability that a, a root um, aerial roots going to shoot off this and also look at this I just noticed this yesterday this is a new shoot coming up in May now look I can dig down 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 probably like six seven eight inches down there's no roots this is that thing's coming up from like a foot and a half down in there I mean it's probably almost to the bottom of the pot now and no roots on that and you got to have you know some roots on something if you're going to separate it and you got to have um, something there that's going to grow a root off it to make your your branch grow now i watched a video the other day from india where they were selecting uh branches and the branches already had aerial roots on them so yeah it's kind of a no-brainer if you cut that off and it's already got little roots sprouting out of there and I trim off 90% of this leaf and I stick it in the ground where it's got it some wet uh, sand it's gonna grow that's probably not gonna happen with a Sinicus and it doesn't happen every time with a vulgaris here's the bamboos vulgaris clone same thing there's the main stalk and this is just a pretty new one I'll, I'll tear this out of here just to show you. There's pretty good root mass on this already. So there it is. That's what's cloned off of that. And I stuck this in a bucket of water and it grew those roots. So it rooted right out of the branch. That's gonna, actually, it rooted out of that branch. Just the branch has the roots. There's no roots out of there. So that's the definitive answer. It all depends on the variety and um, how strong they are, what time of year it is, and how they normally grow. Oh, my sunflowers. Look at my sunflowers. I got, I got top started on them. Not that one. There's one. That's going to be a flower. A couple over there got flowers. These ones, nothing yet. All right. Cut.